Uh, where are we? No idea. Paimon just woke up and then we were here. Oh, Paimon's head is all dizzy. <laughs> the scenery here looks different too. Oh, what should we do, Traveler? Please don't tell Paimon someone abducted us and brought us to some strange place that we could never leave. <laughs> Let's take a look around first. Uh, you're right. Better to think of this as the beginning of a new adventure. <sighs> Thank goodness you're still here. Mm -hmm. If Paimon woke up alone, she probably would be trembling in a tree hollow. The story begins in a forest without rain. <laughs> Why does that sound like something out of a Let's fairy tale? This path for now. We might be able to meet someone and figure out what this place is all about. Ooh. <laughs> a real tree next to a paper mache tree. Hmm. <sighs> Something don't look right. Traveler, did those plants by the road look weird to you? It almost looked like they were made of paper. Like you're made out of paper. Uh, and those two frogs over there? Yeah, they look like pieces of origami. Oh, by the shade of a lotus leaf stream, don't tell me you forgot how to jump. I I didn't forget, Firecracker. <coughs> I'm just not sure if what I remember is correct. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll have forgotten how to sing, much less notate a score. You still remember why we call you stream, don't you? <laughs> yeah, because I've got a great singing voice. Although these days, the name seems more ironic than anything. Not just a great voice, one that evokes the gentleness of early morning dewdrops flowing into a spring. So cheer up and make the jump over. If you're still unsure, just use that roll of magic thread. I won't laugh, I promise. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten how to use that as well. Mm -hmm. I haven't forgotten everything, Firecracker. Your name, for instance. It's kind of hard to forget that you're named after your fiery temper. Now do me a favor and pipe down for a second. Ha uh -huh. right over. Why not steam down? <laughs> you saw that too, right? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? <laughs> <laughs> the paper frogs jumped away. This place is getting more confusing by the second. Alright, where's Alice? Anyway, uh, why don't we go after those two frogs? They didn't <laughs> look Frog. evil or anything. Plus, mm -hmm. they might be able to help us out. <laughs> Great response. They don't look evil. Frogs made out of paper. Mmm. Yeah, nothing. Uh, nothing evil there. Everything checks out. Ooh, it's a squirrel. Oh, it's a flying Let the squirrel. The show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. Aw, it's adorable. The <laughs> music. Or flimsical. Guess we're not catching up to those frogs. They were so fast. Paimon couldn't even tell where they hopped off to in the end. Uh, excuse me, honored travelers. <coughs> Did you come from the cliff with? of prophecy, perchance? <gasps> the, the chubby paper hamster just talked. <laughs> hamster. Chubby? Who are you calling chubby? <clears throat> She's got a slightly thicker layer of paper on me, that's all. <laughs> uh, allow me to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Armand, oh, and I'm God. an elder of the Forest of Blessings. Uh, I've been waiting here for the Hero of Prophecy to arrive. <laughs> Traveler, could you pinch Paimon just to make sure she's not still dreaming? Pinch. I think I need pinching as well. Oh, pinching, you say? Well, I can help with that. Although you'll have to get a little closer. My arms are rather short. <laughs> <laughs> why why that take me uh, back to right. meet the Robinsons? We just need a minute to collect ourselves. Okay. In our brains. Let's think things through. <laughs> we know for sure this isn't the world we're familiar with. The talking paper animals and all the paper trees and plants make that pretty clear. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to the world. That is what the prophecy says. 
A prophecy? <laughs> Deary me, I, I completely forgot to huh. introduce you to this world, didn't I? <sighs> and here I am, getting all excited by the arrival of the hero. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, this old brain isn't what it once was. All shell and no nut. Ha ha. Uh, oh well, perhaps I once gotta make a glossy roll. paper An animal pun somewhere. past the point of no return. It's okay, really. You can just tell us all about this world now. Uh, let me think. Hmm, where, where should I even begin? I've pretty much forgotten everything that happened in the past. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, I, I believe the story circulating along the pulp of this forest goes as follows. Uh, a long, long time ago, three goddesses created this world and named it Simulanka. The goddess of creation, who hmm. presides over matter and magic, created the mountains and rivers and gave us life. Referencing Her the powers sisters? also paved the way for Simulanka to exist in numerous worlds. After the goddess of creation came the goddess of prophecy, with dominion over the stars and the course of fate itself. She induced the sky to spin and the earth to move. Mm. Even to this day, her, her statue still stands tall at the highest point of Constellation Metropole. The okay. final goddess was the a, goddess of That a $10 fate. word you just she said there. She who reigns over all treasured tales and dearest wishes. She bestowed upon us the fierce and everlasting feelings of love and hate and showed us the meaning of death and hope. <laughs> Jesus, wow. talking about both morbid and optimistic. Impressive. Sounds like they really did a lot. Well, I guess of that's course. counterintuitive. All new residents of Simulanka come to the forest to thank the goddess of creation for founding this world and travel to Constellation Metropole to witness the divinations of the goddess of prophecy's numerous oracles. Hmm. After that, they make their way to the end of the world and tell the goddess of fate about their most cherished dreams. <sighs> well, at least that's how it used to be. <laughs> uh, used to? How it used to be? Did something bad happen? You mentioned something about restoring peace to this world? Oh, yeah. That has to do with the hero you're waiting for, right? Yes, yes, this old, old brain of mine may have forgotten many things, but I will never forget the day the evil dragon descended. So I'm going to assume this is referencing Nibelong. Came down from Possibly. the skies in an ominous black mist and ravaged our homeland. Its gigantic footprints can still be seen in the kingdom of breezes and bells. We're incredibly fortunate that no one was hurt. Hmm. The terror doesn't stop there, I'm afraid. Ever since the attack, the calligraphy tavern in the forest has been closed. No one knows why, but it's a catastrophe of the highest order for us, forest dwellers. Uh, a catastrophe of the highest order? All because well, is this a tavern monster? closed? If we were talking about monster here, Paima might understand, but... I hate is that it really that all that right before it. Good. Goddess of creation above, we'd take even the greatest <laughs> flood over the closure of the tavern. Goddess of creation. White paper will dry out with time. Good God, Fallen Jesus dreams Christ. can be restored. <laughs> but the calligraphy tavern is the That's only funny. source of the magic tonic that sustains all creatures in the forest. Magic what? Magic tonic. It was gifted to the forest by the goddess of creation herself. A special potion that helps us maintain our vitality. And what happens if you stop drinking it? Well, our bodies will gradually crumple and become brittle until they eventually disintegrate entirely. Our colors will fade and we'll start to lose our memory until we can't even remember our own names. Uh, there was a screwed up. Does that mean you've uh, that, that, already. That's a screw Screwed no, away that they could have took him so. in and had the camera zoom in Color has all at a Dutch angle. Completely faded from my paper. To be honest, all I really remember is that I'm supposed to wait here for the hero of prophecy. But I've already forgotten who gave me that order to begin with. Oh. Uh.
Attack while quick <laughs> to oh, jump on the gun. Oh, Pixie. May the goddess of <laughs> fate reward you and your friend for uh, your kindness. Could it be you're the heroes I've been waiting for all along? Um, not sure how we know that. Plus, we can't even remember how we got here, so it's not looking too promising. Well, we were just following the road and ended up here. Well, uh, this is turning out to be quite the conundrum for old Armand Brain here. <laughs> Uh, the prophecy never mentioned anything like that. Uh, for now, why don't you come with me to the Hut of Blessings? The Our forest fairy lives there. Maybe she'll know what to do. Whoa, a forest fairy? Like one that knows magic? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> She's prophesized to join the hero on their journey. Well, then she sounds mm. like exactly the kind of person we need. Please lead the way, Grandpa Almond. Very interesting. Uh, that meadow over oh. there looks pretty strange. Uh, that's what the calligraphy tavern looks like. Now it's lost all of its color. <laughs> I see. Huh? What? Is that it? Is that all what they did? Adorable. <laughs> I've heard life takes the, the color out of you, but Jesus Christ. Talk about taking it literal. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is your place. <laughs> if you could just wait a moment, the fairy should be. Traveler, Paimon! Hmm, who is that? <gasps> Paimon knows that voice! It's really you! I'm so happy to see you! Uh, maybe calm down a bit first. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. So Nilu is the forest fairy? Well, you certainly look the part. Now it makes sense. <laughs> It's, uh, perfect for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to be honest, I'm still getting used to it. It's the weirdest thing. I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar, and then I guess I must have fallen asleep at some point because, well, then I woke up dressed like this. And in my dream, someone spoke to me. They said, you are the fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Now go, save the forest with your magic. At first, Ironic, I thought they went this whole with the world was just part of the dream. For that joke. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to wake up. I couldn't find anyone I knew from the real world either. Sounds similar to what happened with us. We also have no idea how we got here. Anyway, sorry for my reaction back there. I got a bit too excited when I saw you two. It's okay, we totally understand. We were looking for a way out, too. At least we know we're not alone. Oh, blessed be the goddess of fate above. You're already friends with the fairy of the forest. Grandpa Almond, thank you so much for bringing my friends here. Could you let the others know I'm coming? I'll head over right away. Uh, of course, leave it to me. Mm. Hey ho, pistachio. <laughs> Today truly is a blessed day. Hey ho, pistachio. <laughs> what? What in the almond tree of that? Oh, Milu, looks like you made short work of getting to know the locals. Well, when I arrived here yesterday, Grandpa Almond told me all about the state of this world. Since they think of me as their forest fairy, I just felt like I had to try to help them. Oh, so you mean like using some kind of forest magic to repair the tavern? Unfortunately, I don't know how to use the magic of this world. I've tried using my vision, but it doesn't seem to work here. If the books stored in this hut are anything to go by, this seems to be the place where the goddess of creation first made the townspeople of this forest. She folded the pages of books into small origami animals, gave them life with her magic, and with time, 
That's how the Forest of Blessings took shape. Hmm. Maybe one of the books here could teach us how to use magic. I read them all, but only found one reference to magic. The incantation, Abracadabra, means to create <laughs> what I say. This is a world made up of uh, words really where fantastical joke, huh? powers can be wielded by all. Okay, so basically everyone <laughs> in this world can use magic? That's nice, but Magic still is kind everywhere! Of big. Yeah, from the other books I read, it seems like this goddess really likes to <laughs> play fast and loose with the details. Joke ever. So, what should we do now? Not upset. Um, didn't you say you were going somewhere, Nilu? Oh, yes. I was going to help some of the other residents of the forest. They've been busy making preparations to reopen the tavern, so I thought I could help out. Got it! Guess we should just focus on what we can do for now. This whole thing is making me pretty nervous, actually. It's like I've been pushed on stage without being taught the choreography. <laughs> Since I'm already wearing the costume, though, I might as well try to play the part. It's what a professional dancer would do. And who knows? Maybe I'll find my own magic along the way. All I can do is try, right? At least you're optimistic. That's a good thing. We'll be there to cheer you on. Thank you. Then let's go. All right. Gonna assume we kind of have no choice but to do this. What's going on over here? Look, the forest fairy is here, and she brought her companions. Grandpa Almond was right, they do look promising. Hello there, everyone. I heard you were working on the piping for the calligraphy tavern. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, we wouldn't dream of troubling you with our petty problems, my lady. Don't you worry, we have it all under control. Ah, uh, you sure about that? Because from where Paimon's floating, the piping is looking pretty chaotic. Ah, uh, yes. We have my careless friend to thank for that. He promised we could leave the pipe connecting to him, and... Well, the results speak for themselves. Uh, hey, I just wanted to inspect each pipe. This is the network the magic tonic has to flow through. I was just trying to be thorough. So, I... <laughs> I disassembled the whole thing. Yeah, and now you've forgotten how to put the thing back together. <laughs> <sighs> Have you been eating too many nuts again? Because you are what you eat. Please Damn. don't fight. I know everyone oh, wants the God tavern to reopen as soon as possible so that the force can return I to know, normal. I don't realize his name. So, why don't you let us help out? Yeah, we're here anyway, so we might as well be helpful. We just need to reassemble these pipes, right? Oh, well, if you're offering... On him. Basically, the pipes the need to be connected properly to allow the magic tonic to flow through. If you Chestnut. put the wrong pipe in the wrong place, <laughs> the tonic will get stuck halfway. Attention to detail is key. Says the guy I who messed up that. the whole thing in the first place. I forget what Ginkgo is. I forget if it's Japanese or a different country. Looks about right. Looks like this is only one.
There's gotta be... curious about this magic tonic. Um, could she have a teeny tiny sip? Just a little taste, please? Stop being greedy. It's not greed, it's curiosity. In curiosity, well, it's the same thing as greed. If it's really just one sip, I guess that would be fine. Just be careful. This is one of the last cups left in the entire forest. We're supposed to save it for our research. Just a sip, promise. Okay, here it goes. What was that? Oh, it's still kicking the Paimon's tongue. Uh, wait, is this just regular ink? Ink and paper, huh? Wait, does that mean what the legend says is true? The goddess of fate used ink to compose her stories on paper, and the goddess of creation used her power to bring those tales to life. No wonder the cavern is so important to the forest. Maybe uh, the fading disorder occurs when the ink within the body dries up. That would explain why the beings here are forgetting their own stories. Oh. I'm not really sure I can really wrap my head around this conversation. But <laughs> nope. there's no need to get all worked up on our behalf, my lady. With the pipe installed, I'm sure the tavern will be up and running in no time. Uh, what do you mean, can't wrap your head around it? The fairy is recounting the story of how the goddesses gave us life. In fact, I've seen the goddess of creation with my own eyes. Really? Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way you're old enough to have met her. We're the same age, and I think I would know considering we went to tell our wishes to the goddess of fate together. So stop talking a load of paper mache. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> it was my grandfather, all right? He all was right. the one that saw her. He said that one day after he finished work, he saw the goddess of creation grant us life with his own eyes. In her hands, she held the very paper used to form our uh, bodies. One of the writers had fun. Into the pages, Way and too then much fun. suddenly a paper frog was born, ready to leap into the world. Oh, it was spectacular. I stand by that uh, point. Cut the theatrics, will you? You weren't even there. Wait, so. That's it? Paimon thought creation magic would have a little bit more... pizzazz. Oh, so in your world, the creation of life is a much showier affair? Mm. Huh. I'm learning something new mm. every day. Um, well, that's not exactly what Paimon more. was trying to say. I'm just gonna let y'all's imagination magic. run wild. Doesn't have to be spectacular. That's enough out of you. All your boasting is confusing our kind fairy. Oh, no, it's all right. I actually think I understand the magic of this world a bit better now. Thank you. The honor was all ours, my lady. <laughs> Traveler, my lady. Paimon, Tips hat. we should make our way to the next location. This is the tip for door. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. <laughs> this music. This music's gonna be in my dreams. Oh, what the? Oh, cool. Oh, where's the frog? <laughs> Let the record show that I verbally All consent right. to relinquishing these items. Oh, no. Oh, stream! Your rhythm is off again! At this rate, it doesn't even matter if the tavern reopens. <laughs> the band's not even going to get any gigs! <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, hello there. I hope we aren't interrupting your rehearsal. Wait, these are the two frogs we saw on the road a little while ago. Oh, the forest fairy is here. 
For the love of lotus leaves and dewdrop stream, you've really got to put in some effort now. <laughs> but I... Oh, don't pressure yourselves on my account. Are you rehearsing for a show? Sure are. <laughs> you see, our group regularly performs for guests at the tavern. We've been out of work for quite some time, with the closure and all, but after hearing of the fairy's arrival yesterday, we figured we needed to get in performance shape right away. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Back at the Grand Bazaar, Zubair Theater's always busy with rehearsals, too. The Grand Bazaar? Do people there sing on lotus leaves as well? Yeah, they do. And it's a really big one. You're the conductor of your group, aren't you? You remind me of Mr. Zubair. Ah, then he must be an ambitious director. One who would do anything to avoid disappointing a single member of the audience. It's just... Uh, mm. Is the there anything here. we can do to help you, Mr. Street? Oh, no, no. My problems are mine and mine alone. It's just, after the tavern closed, I somehow forgot how to sing. I'm always a few beats behind everyone else, and I keep singing out of key. You were our trump card, our best singer by a mile. I know, I know, but... <sighs> so he is a victim of the fading disorder too? Don't be sad, Mr. Stream. Whenever I've forgotten important dance steps in the past, my friends at the Grand Bazaar always stick by my side to encourage me. They smile and patiently tell me everything's going to be okay. Then they play the melody for me over and over until the steps finally come back to me. <laughs> now it's our turn to help you. We just need to help you remember how to sing, right? The Traveler's got a great sense of rhythm. Oh, we boy. can help keep you in time. Well, what do you say, Stream? I think it's a great idea. Just focus on the lyrics, and the fairy's friends <laughs> will help you stay like... on beat. <laughs> it's too are, funny. Are you sure? This is really asking a lot. Don't worry about it, Mr. Stream. It'll all be worth it when the tavern reopens, water down the stream. and you finally have the chance to hear your marvelous singing voice. All right, then. Thank you so much, everyone. I I'll give it my best shot. Uh, the Paper Frog Choir will perform sequentially according to the rhythm directed by the rightmost frog. Frog you need to jump at, at the right moment. <clears throat> there may be a song and dance accompanying the performance. Remember to follow the accompanying rhythm to- oh god. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling it was gonna, they were gonna reference a certain game. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, no good! Your rhythm is off again! Excellent! Perfectly in time! Oh boy. Well, that was a little jarring. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it again. Goddess is above. This better <laughs> stick when it comes to the performance. Just do it exactly like how we rehearsed. Thank you, everyone. Like the music there. Thanks to you, my voice is once again as clear as a flowing stream. Glad to hear that you're feeling better, Mr. Stream. It's also about time for us to go to our next destination. Mm-hmm. We'll be looking forward to your performance at the tavern. We've got one final stop. Let's go. Show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items. Hmm. 
interesting. Must be one of the mini games. This is actually a cool looking area, I'll admit. have you out of commission with the tavern about to reopen? I'm sorry, Grandpa Almond. It's the truth. I was just too excited for the reopening and must have fallen asleep in an awkward position. Grandpa Almond, we're here to help! Oh, hazelnuts on high. You could not have come at a better <laughs> time. Uh, please allow me to introduce you. This is the bartender of the Calligraphy Tavern, Miss Citrus. <laughs> Meaning she'd be sweet and sour? Uh, Miss Citrus is supposed to add all kinds of delicious fruits to the magic tonic. Her additions are what turn it into the finest brew in the land. She's indispensable to the operation of the tavern. I appreciate the kind words, Grandpa Almond, but... Ah, uh, my neck. Are you all right? Ah, uh, terrible timing. Getting a kink in my neck at a time like this? Could you give my tail a little twist? That should help with the movement in my neck. I would do it myself, but I can't reach my own, and Grandpa Almond is too old and as light as a feather. The neck and tail are connected? Of course they're connected. <laughs> just like how you can't have a rainbow without rain. <laughs> Anyway, you just need to position me at the right height to pick the fruits, and then put them in the barrel over there. <laughs> Ayo, what? The magic threads on the alpaca. Well, I feel stupid. What can I do? You can move just the neck height. Okay. Is a little jarring on mouse and keyboard. Mm, this doesn't seem quite right. Deal with what you want with that joke. That was a little jarring. <sighs> My neck feels much better. So there really is some kind of connection between your neck and tail. Thank you so much, everyone. I can rest easy now, knowing the drinks at the tavern will be just as wonderful as before. That's another problem solved! Okay. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for it. Well, since we've taken care of most of the tasks, all we need to do now is reopen the tavern. But we still don't know how to use the magic of this world. We don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place. It's an excellent uh, question. Oh, what about the method that one hamster mentioned? You should try it, Nilu. You mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings? Hmm, I wonder... How exactly did the Goddess of Creation give him life? Maybe... You don't need to understand it. Just give it a try. Everyone here calls you the Forest Fairy. 
Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just don't know it. <laughs> ah, the classic. Words, this forest is a stage. And all I need to do is step out into the spotlight? <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. <laughs> You're right, Paimon. Too funny. We won't know anything unless we try. In that case, let's see. This is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. Oh, your origami skills are great! Damn. That's impressive. I once saw one of our prop people making something similar. It looked really cool. So I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness, either. <laughs> well, how do you feel? Sense any, uh, magical powers flowing through you? Mm. No. No? Mm. What are we missing? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to say some magical magic words? Magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? Focus on what you want to say. Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu. What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. Your name shall be Hadisara. May you bloom in this world as beautifully as the flower I love. <sighs> My name is... Parisara. What? It worked! It actually worked! Well, peel my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a How many nut puns are we gonna get? It's just like what the story said about God the dear. goddess of creation. You gotta be cracking every Shall? joke, huh? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Nilu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Hello, fairy Nilu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Armand for now. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> it's been such a long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Here, Padishara. Mm. Uh, come to Grandpa Armand. Well, now that Nilu has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Hmm. Somewhat, but that didn't exactly Grandpa give Armand, us an answer. Could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course, we'll look into it right away. Make sure you listen to Grandpa Omen, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara, listen, running. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Hey, come back here, you! Wait! Yep, that's Nilo's creation, all right! She's got so much energy. Anyway, how did you manage it, Nilo? Well, all I did was say my wishes for her out loud. Maybe the magic is in the words themselves, just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second. <laughs> I mean, and I'm wondering who created or it. Or some are called the Forest of Blessings, so it kind of makes sense. Well, anyway, Paimon thinks this magic suits you perfectly, Nilu. What about the space under the tavern? When I brought Hadisara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, and the flowers and trees, and inside the creatures that live here. But for some reason, there's a hollowed out space beneath the tavern where I couldn't sense anything at all. We're back, my lady. That was fast. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looked transparent and gave off a clinking sound when I knocked on it. 
Transparent and clinking. Glass? Oh, I've got it. Uh, already? <laughs> You've got to use fairy tale logic, Paimon. <laughs> Is it an ink bottle? That's right. An empty ink bottle, to be exact. Still remember the taste of the magic tonic you took a sip of, Paimon? Yeah, it was ink. <gasps> oh, Paimon gets it now. Traveler, Paimon, <laughs> will you come bulb. gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the Hut of Blessings. Sure thing. What do we need to get? Hmm. A setting sun that never sets. A dragon that cannot fly. And a moon that only shines at night. I... Where are we supposed to find crazy things like that? She means Insidious, Snapdragons, and... Yeah. Now, Lapdol Lotuses? What? How did you get that so fast? T fairy tale logic, Paimon. Logic, huh? <laughs> Lucky guess, more like. Hmm, I don't believe in luck. Kind of forgot about that. Whoops. Give me just a second. I'm going to go fetch an ink bottle from the other room. Paimon doesn't get it. All the ingredients are super tasty, but somehow the final product turns into ink. Well, anyway, Paimon's not going anywhere near this stuff this time. Not even if you bribed her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's see. According to the book, first you do this, then this, and then... You're making use of those animations. It's done! <laughs> what is that container? I have many questions, and I'm very confused. Wow. Magic sure makes everything super convenient. And why is it... Remind me of a certain character. Ooh. Time to give this old man some youth. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the magic tonic we need. Grandpa Almond, could you take the concoction to the room underneath the tavern and place it next to the transparent bottle you found? I'll handle the rest. Of course. As you command, so it shall be done. <sighs> I still get nervous at times like this. It's just like when you step on stage and you can tell that every single person's gaze is fixed right on you. We're right here with you. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I can't tell you how great it is to have you by my side. Almost makes me feel like I've been blessed by the goddess of fate, too. Let's go. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Mm. Very curious about the constant mentioning of fate now. Very curious where this event's going to be going, direction-wise. Are they stuck in time? <sighs> That's, uh, concerning. Forest, please heed my words and accept my blessings. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> Can't have a rainbow without rain. Fairy Nilu is amazing. <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. What a beautiful cavern. <laughs> <laughs> it matches the, of a pop -up the scenery book. of the forest perfectly. I was so surprised when it suddenly opened up like that. Just like a pop-up book. I swear I'm not writing this script. <laughs> <sighs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. It's almost like we've foreshadowed that. The hero who shall save this ago. world will descend upon the cliff of prophecy. The hero, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to so this I'm world. I'm gonna assume traveler. So the prophecy and the really did have the all the people. answers. You just forgot the first half. That's why I was waiting near the cliff of prophecy. <laughs> wonderful, simply wonderful. There's still some hope left for old Armand after all. Is the Cliff of Prophecy that place with the huge mural? Cause that is where we woke up, but we don't remember anything about how we got there. Also, we didn't get a change of clothes like Nilu. Are we definitely the heroes? <laughs> oh, if please. not you, then who else? Uh, you, you've already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. To us, that makes you heroes. Prophesized or not. Hmm. All right. That's an By the way, take. we're going to keep adventuring, even if it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world. We can also help resolve your dragon problem along the yep, way. We've beaten up plenty of dragons already, so what's one more? As expected, the words of the goddess of prophecy about always come. The ones come in Ingonomia and Davalon. I'll come with you. I was like, we can't hurt hey, to have a magical fairy tag along, right? <laughs> but you never asked. Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale. All right, who brought the twenty-sided dice? Hmm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. It's Simulanka's most prosperous city, uh, just across the sea. Once you've arrived <laughs> just the across the sea garden, that you the see highest point in the city, uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the goddess of prophecy herself. Are you leaving, Fairy Nilu? I'm afraid so. There are still other people who need my help. I won't go far, though, and I'll come back to visit the minute I have time to spare. So be a good girl, Putty Sara. And help out Grandpa Alma whenever you can, all right? Mm-hmm. Got it. Patty Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl, Patty Sara. Ah, I almost forgot. If Constellation Metropole is where you're heading, you'll need to take the Maritime Express. Mm -hmm. I'll head to the station first thing tomorrow morning and wake up that lazy station master for you. Why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should save the yes. beautiful scenery of the forest we can do the next you act. Sounds great! Paimon definitely feels tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with Paimon's name on it. <laughs> oh, sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well, if you're offering. Paimon will take a glass of Buell fruit tonic. Um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> A joke. Page one complete. <laughs> what? Oh my god. This is already gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Adorable. Aw, the squirrels. <laughs> this looks so cool. I can't but like it. But, either way, enough with that. That was a fun one. It was already a great start. But, for the summer event, 
as usual, but either way, hopefully you all like, comment, subscribe, and all that, and I'll be seeing y'all next time.